Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Drew Rabian, radiologist. This is a sonography radiology training channel. I will present different videos could be benefit for physicians and general population. In this video series, I will talk about fetal ultrasound and try to explain general information for pregnant women simply. This is the third video in this video series. Pregnancy occurs when an egg is fertilized by a sperm grows inside a woman's womb and develops into a baby. In humans, this process takes about 264 days from the date of fertilization of the egg. But the obstetrician will date the pregnancy from the first day of the last menstrual period, that is 280 days or 40 weeks. Your doctor or midwife will use certain terms when he or she talks to you about your pregnancy. The first one is intrauterine pregnancy. A normal pregnancy occurs when a fertilized egg is implanted in the womb and embryo grows. Another term is embryo, the term used for developing fertilized egg during the first nine weeks of pregnancy. Fetus, the term used for the developing embryo after nine weeks of gestation. Beta-human chorionic gonadotropin, also called beta-HCJ. This hormone is secreted by the placenta and can be measured to determine the presence and progression of the pregnancy. Urine or blood can be tested for its presence and it's the hormone involved in the performance of a home pregnancy test. A positive result means a woman is pregnant. However, this test result can stay positive for several weeks after delivering a baby or following a spontaneous miscarriage. The other term is trimester. The duration of an individual pregnancy is divided into three periods called trimester, approximately three months in duration, including first, second, and third trimester. Each trimester is characterized by specific events and developmental markers. For instance, the first trimester includes the differentiation of different organ systems, including central nervous systems, extremities, and other organs. Estimated date of delivery. The delivery date is estimated by counting for what 200 80 days from the first day of the woman's last period, it's also called the estimated date of confinement. The primary goal of ultrasound evaluation in the first trimester is to determine whether the pregnancy in the womb or not, like this image which we can see the bladder, the womb and pregnancy sac in the womb, and whether the embryo is living or not, like this live fetus with normal fetal heart. Scanning in the first trimester may be performed either transabdominally or transvaginally. For transabdominal first trimester ultrasonography, a full bladder is required. This is a transabdominal ultrasound image which we can see abdominal surface, full bladder, the womb, and pregnancy sac in the womb. And this is a transvaginal ultrasound image. Here is ultrasound transducer, the womb, and pregnancy sac in the womb. The purposes of the first trimester ultrasonography include the first one to determine the presence of gestational sac. Like this image, which the physician reports, I see a pregnancy sac in the womb. Two, to determine the gestational age, like this image, which we can see the fetus and the physician report gestational age is 7 weeks and 5 days. Third one, to determine the position of the gestational site. The gestational site is in the womb or not, like this transvaginal image, which we can see the womb but no fetus in the womb and there is a fetus outside the womb abnormally and the physician 
reports the womb is empty and pregnancy sac is seen outside the womb abnormally. For to observe fetal heart rate like this fetus, which the physician reports I see a live fetus with normal heart beat. 5. To examine the presence of mass or ovarian cysts like this trans vaginally ultrasound image which the physician reports there is a corpus luteal cyst in right ovary. 6. To examine the probability of abortion or fetal death like this image which the physician reports I don't see fetal heartbeat and the fetus is dead unfortunately. And 7 diagnosis or evaluation of multiple pregnancies like this clip which we can see three pregnancy socks in the womb with three live fetuses and the physician reports I see a triple pregnancy 8. Measuring the knuckle translucency like this image which the physician reports knuckle translucency is equal to 2.39 mm. 9. Evaluation of a suspected hydatiform mole like this image which the physician reports there is no fetus but a hydatiform mole is seen. In the following videos I will explain all these items in detail and completely. If you like this video, please subscribe this channel. If you would like to get notification for the next videos, please press the small bell. If you have any question or video suggestions, please write in the comments. Thank you for your attention.